I feel like um, this is what you're calling infantilizing culture. Mm -hmm. Like to me, it's gotten worse. In your own lifetime. Yeah, in my own lifetime, as it's reflected in popular culture, yes. or even high culture, you know. Um, in, like in the 50s, Lauren Bacall was a sex symbol. She was a goddess. I mean, she was only 20 years old when she starred in some of those films with Humphrey Bogart. That's right. Very sophisticated, mature woman. And then we have a culture now that um, worships someone like Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, the contrast just between you know, Lauren McCall and Britney Spears, and Britney Spears is older than Lauren McCall was. And um, just looking at that, that contrast makes me think, what's happened to our culture so that you know, we actually um, glorify like this kind of infantile sexuality, you know? And, and I, it's, I, I find it alarming, actually. Like it's, I don't think it's funny. Like some people might find it funny that Britney Spears has the kind of place that she does in our culture. But I, it actually really alarms me because I feel there are other cultural ramifications of this, you know. So I, I just so I'm wondering if, from your point of view, like, do you feel like there's been a change? I think that there's been a change, but it's really hard to mm -hmm. for me to avow that because what I think of the 1950s, you know, when I was really a child growing up, mm -hmm. and the popular culture of that era, mm -hmm. like Mickey Splain and. This uh, the anti-communist madness that was going on, and the quality of like film that was produced in Hollywood, you you can't watch it now. It's insufferable. I mean, the cliches and the in, the childishness of the you know the venue, um, the fifties. But then the sixties opened things up a lot. You know, and it, it seemed promising, and then there was a reactionary resurgence in the early 70s into the mid-70s. You know, the bonfire of the vanities and Ronald Reagan. And ever since then, I mean, it's been further deterioration as far as I'm concerned. But do you think it's, it's mm -hmm. that kind of, you know, will to um, dependence yeah. that you're talking about? It's like where... We don't want them to grow up. Yeah. We don't even have a concept of growing up. I, I've, mm -hmm. What does it mean to grow up? I mean, mm -hmm. that really strikes a chord, you know, for me, you know, like being interested in film and having tried, you know, to at least write part of a, mm -hmm. of a screenplay. I was very conscious of trying to write about real adults. Mm -hmm. And from the little interaction I had with readers, I, I felt stymied. Mm. Like you can't, you're not allowed to do that. I, I want to give an I give an example from something that's very immediate right now. Like if you look at Cold Mountain, mm. and you look at uh, the History Boys, which just you know it came out next to it. One is really you know feel good, you know romanticization, and the other is an adult handling of an adult theme. And we don't do that very much in this country. We don't want that. I'm not saying that good work isn't done, because it is, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to do it. Yeah, yeah. The supposed adults, you know, give her your reactions. Well, you're, not, you're not doing what you're supposed to do, you know, speaking of music, you know, and Solieri. You know, I need the um -pa, pa at the end so I know when to applaud, you know, like, and I need it here. I have to know who the villains are and who the heroes are, and otherwise, how can I get involved in it? You know, like... I guess it's easy to get involved with all those boob jobs of <laughs> Britney Spears, you know? I, actually, Joni and I were watching some old, a part of an old movie that was made like in the 40s. And I said, you notice these, these are human being women, you know? Like the, this, there's not a reconstructive surgery inside, you know? Barbara Stanwyck, you know? <laughs> She's a great star, but you know, like me. I have more of a chest than she does, you know, like, but you can't do it now, you know, and you got to say, well, why, you know, what, what's this about? The aesthetic changes, what's beautiful changes. You ever see those Flemish paintings done in the 15th century, those interiors, mm -hmm. and the people look, to my eyes, awful, yet they, they thought it looked good, these round bellies and very pale skin. It meant that they didn't do any physical work, 
so that they were successful merchants, you know, like, but things have changed, I mean, you know, style, so, it's like an endless cycle, mm -hmm. you know, are there periods of cultural decay, you see, that's an interesting question, I, you know, relative cultural decay, and, I mean, given my taste in music and in art, I mean, it's hard for me not to say, well, we're living through one, I mean, and I sort of feel just a little angry and resentful that my time is over and I'm never going to see the end of this crap. <laughs> you know, like this, you know, like Chagall, you know, like great artist Chagall, you know. I mean, there are four-year-olds who could scribble things that look better than anything he has ever done. You know, like, don't you see that this is crap? You know, like, I know that that's my taste, but nevertheless, you know, you only have a certain amount of time and... Yeah, I can easily envisage a world looking back on this time and say, people then were really crazy. <laughs> you know, when I hear the beginning of a Mahler symphony and I hear, you know, how much talent as a composer he has, and then the stuff turns into this schmutz, which is, you know, German or Yiddish word for dirt. You know, it's all messed up and it's not pretty anymore and it's all appears to your mind. There are no lyrical passages, and I know he can write them, so why don't you write them, you jerk? Why well, are you writing that crap? Can't you listen to it? It sounds terrible. It gets me so angry. 